Hi, I'm Rob, and coming up, Angelina Jolie stars in a new version of the Sleeping Beauty tale from the villain's point of view. I'll have my review of Maleficent coming up. for checking out R&B Reviews, where we try to give informative and introspective reviews of movies that are in theaters as well as out on DVD. Angelina Jolie stars as the mistress of all evil in Maleficent, which has a different take on the classic Sleeping Beauty story that also shows Maleficent's backstory. The movie is directed by first-time director Robert Stomberg, who before had been a visual effects designer on a lot of films and TV shows, and the script was written by Linda Wolverton, who also wrote the Tim Burton version of Alice in Wonderland, as well as Mulan and The Lion King. Overall, I thought Maleficent was a good movie, but not really a great one. With the story, I really like that Maleficent has a more active role in the story than she did in Sleeping Beauty, you know, the cartoon version from 1959. And I like how the film draws sympathy from the audience for Maleficent. She's not really portrayed as evil, but she's more bent on revenge because she had her wings taken away when she was younger due to a betrayal. And after a while, you care about her and you understand how she feels. Um, I think this movie comes off very well, uh, partly because of Angelina Jolie in the role. I thought she had a very strong presence. Here you're there. Don't be afraid. I am not afraid. Then come out. Then you'll be afraid. No, I won't. People who have followed entertainment like Disney's Frozen or the stage musical Wicked might see some similarities here. This, go this uh, movie goes in a different direction that has uh, female lead characters who are stronger and that the men don't always have to be the ones to rescue the so-called damsel in distress. But what I came, with from the come came away with from the movie was that all men are idiotic jerks and I, I really like that the film did try to explore human greed and self-worth, but I would have liked to have seen, you know, a couple more guys that would have been more, you know, sympathetic to Maleficent, like her crow sidekick that she sometimes changes into a human. I think if you do have strong female characters as well as sympathetic characters, it can work out just fine. I mean, look at Frozen. You had Olaf uh, the Snowman, and you also had that uh, Hunter fella. Uh, the rest of the cast I thought was serviceable. Ellie Fanning plays Princess Aurora, and I liked her in the role. She is childlike, and um, she's always in a good mood even when she ends up meeting with Maleficent and again I thought she really uh, shined in the part. Um, as I mentioned Maleficent has a crow that sometimes turns into a human. Uh, he's played by Sam Riley. I like that he was one of the few male characters that you could really latch onto but at the same time he came across to me as more as somebody who's just standing there and reciting dialogue and not really given a whole lot to do and Prince Philip is kind of in the movie too but again he doesn't play much of a big part here. Um, I also liked how the film tried to have Stefan be portrayed as a more tragic figure with some guilt although I thought Shelto Copley uh, the actor who played him. I thought that he could sometimes chew the scenery a little bit, and he was one of the characters that I thought that the script tried a little bit too hard to make us dislike intensely. Um, the good fa fairies are also in this movie, and they kind of provide comedy relief. Again, they're not really given that much to do. And I kind of had a mixed reaction to the visual effects and some of the technical aspects. Sometimes I found them to be great. Other times I felt like they were there just to show off, and it did not always help the movie along. Sometimes the creatures that were computer-generated looked good while others looked like they were characters car, you know cartoon characters and when you mix them in with live action sometimes it could be a little bit jarring at times the movie felt like it was just mini episodes put together into a whole rather than a whole film um, especially in the middle and some scenes did have some unnecessary jump cut editing especially in the last third of the movie where a character will be walking and suddenly they're just a few feet ahead that kind of took me out of the movie a little bit but my favorite parts of the movie were not really the effects, they were interactions between the human characters. I really liked the nice quiet moments between Aurora um, after she ends up meeting Maleficent. I think Stromberg really did well there. 
Uh, the sets, especially King Stefan's Castle, looked great, and the photography was also good, and this is one of the shortest films that I've seen in a long time. It runs at about 98 minutes. Still, I am going to give this movie a See It in Theaters rating. It's not my favorite movie this summer, but I did think it was entertaining, and Jolie really did shine here, but I left the movie feeling a little bit underwhelmed. The, the movie did... I thought sometimes overdid it on the effects, and I think some of the script and maybe a few characters just needed a little bit more work, but still, I am going to go ahead and recommend it as a theater-going experience. All right, now I'm going to open the floor to you guys. Go ahead and tell me what you thought of Maleficent, and uh, feel free to post any comments about the video or about the movie itself, and thank you very much for watching.